Hey everybody, welcome back. We've been playing the non-weekly. I'm waiting for the the new weekly to come out before I start playing the weekly again. But I've been having some pretty eh, decent success. Maybe not amazing, but decent success. Pillbug, C+, takeable. Iguana, without a toucan in this pack, it's not as good. Um, I would roll it, to be honest. I know that's a spicy take. In hindsight, I kind of wish that we had taken it. Um... But that's okay. Don't I mean I'm not like anti frog in this case, but I I guess I like this for round one. I don't know what we're gonna do with the frog long term. Let's be a, an um, uncertain underdog, like the Canucks trying to make the playoffs. Currently six percent chance according to SportsClubStats.com. Uh, we win round one. A lot of people run in two squads round one. I think you're look they're they're fishing for a bird plus a strawberry, but it's hard to get them all at once. Okay, next step. Um, seahorse, very playable. You don't... If we go up against a lot of two ones, then having a seahorse and an iguana is fine. But let's roll once and see what we get. Okay, for now, keep you at the front. We will still roll seahorse iguana. Um, we'll have our pill bug buff our seahorse twice and our iguana once and itself. But then what are you going to do? Are you going to put a strawberry on something? No, we're going to keep rolling. Now we might die. You know what? We're already like kind of past strawberry. As much as I would like to get those birds, I think we're, we're moving past it. We're really looking for a level, and there's our level. So don't freeze the iguana. You, you'll laugh at me. You can call me names. You can, you can uh, pull down my pants and steal my lunch money, okay? But I'm telling you, the pill bug is not that bad. It looks... Oh, we're going to lose this round, but disregard that. It looks really bad, but it's actually passable. There's not a glowing endorsement or anything, but it's it's passable. Now, let me tell you something. I actually don't think the jellyfish is even worth taking, but we're in kind of desperate times already. We don't have an identity to our team yet, so we might as well get a buff. And then on top of this, we do have a 4-3. That's a relatively solid unit. Um... We'd love to fish for anything that the jellyfish could kind of make pop off, but that's okay. For now, we just don't sweat it. Okay, is our iguana going to level up? There's a chance, and then it would buff our jellyfish a bit, but um, this squad is uninspiring, but the stats are not so bad. Let's focus on the positives. The positives right now are it's, it's very easy to pivot this squad. <laughs> I don't think that's, like, necessarily the most important thing in the world, but... Hey, look at that. We had the stats to get it done. I think you keep the pill bug pumping. Dude, honestly, I don't think you level up anything here, except maybe the woodpecker, but I don't think we're ready for that yet. Nothing here appeals to me that much. I still, I'm not regretting not taking the iguana. I think we take the hit this time to pass two HP back to these two units. And then, like, with God as my witness... I, th I think you have to go Salamander. The Salamander is actually, like, so potentially valuable. Maybe we don't need this anymore. It's it's one of the very few scalers you can get right now. Now, you could do... Koala Yak would be great, too, if we could get both. You do have a start of battle effect, but I don't want to freeze you because we're about to get a level up. So you should get HP. That's actually so beneficial. And that means we can set up our squad like this. Okay. Now, I really think you got to be careful about tunnel visioning on the jellyfish. I think if you get an early level 2 jellyfish, maybe there's something in the in the way for you, in a good way. Um, short of that, and I, had a, I was pretty confident we were going down on this one. Um, short of that, you might want to bail on it early, but we got a lot of units that I would not mind bailing on right now. Um, I, 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 we did just buff it, but it, it had to be like that. Now, I would say sell me. We're going to start very simple. Buy me. Sell me. This is kind of going to go hard. Feel free to screenshot. Buy me. Now you're going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Obviously, we don't need to give you a lollipop in this case. You know what? Give me one of those. At least our jellyfish will get a small bonus here. Um, this team is getting a little better. A little better. Could, mostly because the salamander is just insane. You might notice people uh, definitely have figured out that uh, strawberry meta pretty strong. <laughs> but is it as strong as our meta? Not quite. 
There's three wins already and we're navigating uncertain waters. Okay, so you gotta go. I definitely think you with this is totally fine. And then we buff you. I mean, it's it's high utility, man. We don't really want to run this if we don't have to. <clears throat> okay, it's it's interesting. It's very interesting. We can run the frog for a minute, or we could sell the woodpecker and just level up the jellyfish and keep the frog just for a second. I guess we could have. No, no, this. Why would you do? What am I thinking? This doesn't make. What I just did makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> but that in and of itself is very funny. Okay, so give uh, HP to your best units. Obviously, we'll put the frog at the front. Yeah, I don't know why I would do that. I, I had a little brain fart there. Strawberries again. Strawberry double toad. Holy cow. The gang's all here. I'm not sweating. We're, we're winning, we're losing, we're winning, we're losing. We're on four, not on lethal. We love to see that. Now, let me tell you something. I love that. Let me tell you something. Start of battle. Still like it. We can pin our hopes and dreams on the salamander. Let me tell you. I like it. You're not a start of battle, unfortunately. I wish you were. I wish you were. You're a start of battle. You're a start of battle. I think we go pug first, though. And pill bug. I mean, it is a level up. I also think the eel can kind of go hard. It's getting a little, a little dangerous, for sure. I know how this looks, but as long as we move the positioning around before the next round, we're not sweating it too, too much. So the jellyfish is going to be a 914. This squad doesn't look that scary, except for the Okapi that looks incredibly scary. Oh my god, we were, we were close. We were so close. Okay, you can hang. I know this looks bad. We can hang. We can hang here. You're a start of battle. You're not, but you're close to a level, but roll me first. These are starts of battles. Does the salamander need the support? If anything, the salamander would benefit from a lollipop right now. I'm willing to roll to get to three to try to get to it. Now, that did not happen. Let's buff our pill bug. These are the two units I wish to buff. And I wish myself luck. <laughs> this is uh, spooky. I think we were like 50-50. I think we could win this round. Okay, Woodpecker Toad is a classic combo, but this doesn't look that bad, man. It still doesn't look that bad. I told you. I told you. We're up to four. And we're fighting it out with the biggest nerds on the planet, myself included. So just keep that in mind. Like, it's not guaranteed. These are hard games, man. Now, I think start of battle is always going to be good. Green Pepper, I think you can just take. Like, it's, it's usually going to be worth something for you. Let's take this anyway. You're a start of battle effect, but so are you. You would give a 2-2 buff. You would do 7 damage to the enemy sitting opposite. I think this is a sell me. Admittedly, a level, I guess, for the jellyfish could have been nice too, but just, just trust me on this one. You're a start of battle. Maybe we could get a, a level up effect on this. But we don't want the salamander like this far back now. That's okay. You can run it like... You know what? Tier 5s exist now. Let's see if maybe they chose to run a vulture. We'll put Hawk at the back as anti-vulture. I think you, when in doubt, you can build to kill a vulture, and you'll, you'll end up getting some collateral damage sometimes. Would have been nice to snipe the, uh, the anteater, honestly, but that's okay. It happens. We draw? We're lucky to draw, quite frankly. <laughs> I'll take it. You're a start of battle effect that could level up. Also good, don't get me wrong. Food might, you know what? Yeah, some HP maybe. And then make sure, I think we want to buff Salamander Jellyfish. So we'll get it set up like this. Salamander's looking pretty good. Jellyfish is looking better than I would have expected. Plus it's got that green pepper. We snipe a cassowary. Not enough to do that much for us. And holy cow, you're me but stronger. Or are you? Or are you? We draw. <laughs> we draw. <laughs> but we're still hanging tough. Okay, can we get some jellyfish buffs, maybe? Some jelly by getting a level? Now, I mean, you gotta have some honesty here. The stegosaurus is kind of insane. I think we could sell our pill bug, even though it is one away from a level. And we could sell a lot here, if I'm being honest. Like, none of these two units need to be on the squad. 
Freeze me, roll me. If I could get a level, I would take a level. I'm gonna start here, believe it or not. No levels, huh? Nope, I don't need the popcorn. Start of battle effects, yes, but at, but at what cost? At what cost? Okay, level me. You're gonna buff the jellyfish. It's at 1122. If anything, let's be honest, the salamander probably needs the support more. Maybe we can get our stegosaurus to level up. The jellyfish gets a little stronger. The salamander now has is artificially incredibly buffed. Mm, we do just enough damage. That's actually just really lucky. Pepper me. We draw these, okay. I'm used to that by now. But you're saying there's a chance. It's exciting, you gotta admit. And so many units that could give us a level up if they would just be so inclined. Thank you. We'll start with the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus buffs our jellyfish. It's also in the Hawk as well. I didn't even see you there. You're gonna give 2-2. Two, two. So you're gonna max out our Stegosaurus. I love that for us. Um, okay. It, it would be nice if we had a unit now that benefited from like a hurt trigger. Like we could sell a pill bug and take a Triceratops buff it with the Stegosaurus and I think we would feel like we're kind of off to the races. It's nice armor. I can't deny the niceness of your armor there. We lose. I Honestly, we fought pretty hard on that one. We only got four wins, but I think that's more of a product of our early game, to be honest. Like, anytime I go jellyfish, I, I tend to, like, just tap out earlier than I'd like. Okay, any viable unit here? <clears throat> this is a weird one. I, I'm going to accept my L round one in order to hopefully be a crispified tentacle. Sounds delicious. Um, in order to build a good strawberry team for round two and beyond. I don't really want a kiwi that has a strawberry. But our, our future looks bright. I promise you that. We're looking forward not just to the, the intersection in front of us. We're trying to figure out where we're going to park when we get to the mall. Now, three of these is really good. I think you can freeze a kiwi. We're really just, I was just gonna say, we're looking for essentially any other unit. <laughs> and I think, I believe in the potency of a pill bug. Now, admittedly, the pill bug is not gonna be the only, um, it's not, if we win, it's not gonna be because of the pill bug, it's gonna be because we have three birds, but. It feels nice though, it feels nice. Now, you definitely take your level, in my opinion. I just, I just don't see the clownfish working, man. I wish I did. I don't, though. Maybe we should have shrimped one of the birds before we combined as well. I wasn't thinking straight. Um, you know, while we're here, you're at 2-4. I could give you 4-2. That's effectively one stat gain. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's very good at all. I'll, let's just do that for now. This is a completely like archetype agnostic team right now. It just has a strawberry and then things that work with strawberries. I don't think that's enough to, to give us the dub. In fact, I can tell you right now it won't be. But again, we're thinking for the future. You know, we got some levels up fairly likely to, to show up. Let's double sell me here. I think you can add a yak even without a koala. You're just looking for some form of, of scaling at some point. I would be happy to buff my pill bug once more. And, you know, to be honest with you, while we're here, buy a pill bug. I'm, I'd rather buff our yak here. Keep our bird, like, where it is. Okay. This is not an incredible team. Um, but, I mean, we're going to have a more than a 10-13 pill bug. That seems pretty solid to me. It's an 11-14. I told you it would be more. Did I not tell you? I think I told you. All right, we, we're win trading. We win, we lose, we win, we lose. But I'm, I'm feeling confident long term. We're looking for koalas. Koalas would go a long way. Now, not a jellyfish, let me tell you. We will look at a yak for sure. One level two yak would be pretty sick. I don't really care about a dove right now. Let's see if maybe the bird can keep it pumping. And our pill bug is going to level up. 
an orangutan that would start to buff a yak next turn. You know, you, you had my attention, but now you have my interest. The panda's probably going to go soon. But man, if some koalas show up, man, oh man. Hey, 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 who's running birds? One of us is going to have to change. You're running birds, I'm running birds. You're running orangutans, I'm about to run a, ah, I'm about to run a circle around you. That's what I'm going to do. Give me my win. Sell me. Buy me. You could buff a yak, you could buff a bird. I'm not going to spend my whole life trying to make sure it works out exactly as I want here. We can flip you in a second, but not yet. Now you, you're an interesting one. We're going to have to keep rolling you. A level two yak. Insane. I would like to... Please buff my bird so that the orangutan buffs the yak. And the panda will not get the buff because the yak hurts itself. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Strongish team here, I think. A, a level two bird. What? So creative. Um, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm over. You have broken my heart with that hot. I just honestly bodied. You bodied me on that one. Consider my soul red. Now, I love this. Keep it going. Roll me. Pillbug, you're doing great work. Two orangutans. As long as they buffed... Yeah, you know, I'm willing to give it a try for a second at least. I can't keep investing in this pill bug, man. But I, I don't want to give you... I, you know what? Let's give an orangutan the, the cucumber so that after this round, it won't buff itself as much. Oh, son of a gun. That's not good. They, they buffed each other. Okay, we, for the first time in Earth's history, we have a team that is not uh, buffeted, we draw, uh, by a bird. I know we're buffeted by a bird. I need all the help I can get, apparently. A level three bird. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. We can roll a lion. The lion will get buffed by our orangutan right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, take some stats with you. You know what? Just once, why don't you do double damage? We've only got three gold to spend. Good buff. I'd like to see a level two orangutan, honestly. This squad is, is not that bad in my head, but it doesn't seem to be getting the job done where it actually counts. My double damage! Whatever. We win these. Okay. I feel like we're the universe has corrected again. We're, we're back in the win column. Feel like you could do worse than 6 HP for 3 gold when we like our squad. Sure, let's buff a lion. Anybody need less HP so they get a buff guaranteed? Yeah, at this point you'd probably say the lion. This makes sense to me right now. What's the pill bug doing? Look, maybe I'm overcommitted to the pill bug, okay? I, it's been suggested. Maybe I put a little too much credit on the pill bug's name. We win these. Holy cow. I'm waiting for that level two orangutan, man. It's just to give it a chance to stick around. I love that for me. It's very nice. It would still be nice if you got the stat bonus. We don't need the yak to get any more. I honestly, the pill bug. But if we're going to get rid of the pill bug. We, we can keep it for one more round. We're not even on lethal. And then sell it by a fox. Yeah, yeah, maybe. The yak gets the buff. That's okay. The yak's not going anywhere. We can't afford to get rid of that. But the pill bug is gone after this round. This team looks really strong. It's not that strong. I was, I was mistaken. We managed to kind of get through them. The bird can also go after we sell the after we sell this though. Okay, now you you can't take a green pepper. I wish you could. Whatever we get here is going to get the buff from the orangutan. So you have to be a little cautious there, right? Um, in that case, I would say, sell me. You've served your purpose. Buy me. 
You can also go, but not for any of these. Even for, it's way too late for the koala to work here, I think. Could you pivot to like a pseudo faint build? We want to freeze this for certain. Um, well, I'll start with the obvious. I'm not totally sure we need to invest in a level three lion. I mean, you're already a 36, 24. Might be nice if you get a strawberry, actually, although you're going to go first. Eh, we'll see. I don't think we need it. But actually, hold on. So, like, if we get a strawberry, some coconut armor would hit the spot. It doesn't have to happen all at once. Don't need the level two yak. There's a lot going on here. Start here. Two hot dogs frozen. We don't need to pivot to Velociraptor until we get something we're interested in. Which would be a spider. Not a spider, a strawberry. <laughs> Oh, you can't take this with a lion, though, so get rid of this. Okay. Thank you, Brain. I appreciate that. I don't think we're going in on the lion any further, though. We know the orangutan's buffing our fox, but that's okay. The fox is repaying the favor by buffing the rest of our squad. The bird is hard to get rid of now that it, it got a nice little bonus there. But, you know, it, it happens. Life goes on. We're living. We're still living. We're still winning. As, as busted and, and scuffed as this squad looks, that's win number seven. Fox is always good, so I'm not going to pretend like we don't have a good thing going on there. Double hot dogs still seems great to me, so we're looking for pears now. We're looking for foxes, really. Okay, you know what? I should have bought the earlier ones, but now it's, it's apparent. It's more apparent than ever. Little buff, not much. Nice little buff on our fox. Little cucumber action. We continue to buff the bird, which drives me crazy because uh, I... I was going to sell it, but now it's too good to fail. This is not even close. Your team is just ten times better than mine. But we're still alive. I don't think we're... We don't handle the late game well. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is not something I would look to as being hugely positive for us. Popcorn, not what we're looking for. Broccoli, not what we're looking for. Carrot, not what we're looking for. Strawberry, can't do it, man. Soup, soup me. Okay. Uh, well, we just basically did nothing. Please buy. The, get the hot dog. Get the hot dog. Get the hot dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think we've built like the the definition of like a mid range team. This, I especially with them having a Velociraptor, I can't see us. I can't see us chunking through this. Look at that yak at the back, man. Look at the green peppers. Much. I gotta hand it to them. Superior use of both equipment and animals. But given that that one was kind of like up and down for us you know we got stuck in i, I would call it a, a rut of rolling now let's be better cockroach you can you can work with it's not the dream team but for a few rounds we can run this let's be a, a squeaky masseuse so you're gonna be what you're gonna be a three six this honestly not to be super rude it's probably the worst squad on team, turn one I've ever run into in my life. Now, that it, it can function for us, I think. If you gotta roll a pill bug, roll a pill bug. If you gotta take a seahorse for some stats, take a seahorse for some stats. The pill bug is like a one turn busted tropical fish. I think that's. That's a, it meant as a compliment. <laughs> Whether it comes across as such, I don't know. Okay. Still pogging after all these years. Two wins, two rounds. Still happy with it. So you, we can lower your HP. Oh, it's such a stupid move because you always set your attack to two at the start of the turn. Well, at this point, we might as well combine you and get one beautiful turn. And then we're looking for animals that do anything. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Roll me. No, no, no. Roll me. Okay. I don't see the purpose in the guinea pig even still. I guess if you had nothing else on your squad and you just wanted to roll clownfish or jellyfish, maybe. So what are we looking for to get us out of a jam here? Um, well, we're going to lose this one. No, we're going to draw this one. 
Koala yak would be would be a good start. But it's not something we can guarantee. I'll just take my level right now. Because we get a benefit on the level anyway. Make sure you're buffing. I mean, I don't really want you to get... I don't want any of these units to get 2 HP. That's where I'm, like, upset right now. <laughs> but I don't want any of any units to get 2 HP that are in the shop or on our squad right now. So I guess we might as well just let it ride. We have no... I, I think the squad in the moment is okay. But we suffer, like, greatly in terms of, like, having any form of permanent progress. But, I mean, we are three wins, four rounds, right? That's not so bad. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to buff your cockroach any further. I'm trying to get these birds so, like, they'll at least be strong when we combine them. At least there'll be some merit there. Is there any way we could turn this into a buy-sell build? I still don't see it. I could flip your stats. <laughs> you would become an 8-2, and then next turn you would be a 2-2. Seems like a colossal waste of everybody's time. Let's roll. The cockroach leveling doesn't matter a lot, but okay, it, it matters a little. Koala? A level? We have to invest in our stats and win immediately. I think that's the... That's the only way. Double starfish. Interesting. Inter it's not going to get it done for you here, but it, it certainly is interesting. I mean, I, I think it's a little bit more bullish than uh, birds with food build. Okay, yak, koala, it's late. But I think we can talk. Just make sure you're doing this right. This, I think, is fine. Consolidate a little bit. You know, this is also like a really early mantis, though. I'm going Yak Koala. I'm going Mantis. You know why I'm going Mantis? I'm going... I'm going Mantis... Yak. Just live with me for a second here. We want to keep the cockroach. I know it sounds very stupid. It kind of is very stupid. I think we want to put a strawberry on our mantis. I don't think the cast... I think it's too late for the cassowary starting as a 2-4. It is it's weird. The, the yak is basically just along for the ride right now. I've, I've, I've got to think about... I got to think about life, man. I got to think about what, what the future holds for me on this one. We got to win right away. So every loss is like, like it's a colossal problem. I'm happy that I, I expected the pill bug to die for the record. We needed a great unit. We got a great unit. Um, buff me, probably. Place me, place me. It's not that good. Like, you're a 6-9. The yak is also not long for this world. It's just here as 5-5 five, five ballast. This, we're, we're trying to do... I know I said we should continue trying to win, but sometimes, you know, you gotta just... You gotta play the shops you're dealt, right? Um, basically, I'm trying to engineer a soft pivot. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> But we have the HP necessary to slowly, like, impact things over time. So something with a faint trigger would be nice. Uh, just getting some stats on our lion, sure. Something with, with a good faint trigger, ideally. You're a good faint trigger, quite frankly. And if you leveling up our lion over time would be quite beneficial. You can go. So we just got to think about what we want to do with you next time. The hamster, I'm definitely... I'm tempted. We don't need to get rid of you right now, I suppose. Come on. Not swapping stats right now. Okay, hold on. This changes everything. Run that lion at the front. We'll get our mantis to scale a little faster. The order is scuffed, but for long-term prospects, something here speaks to me. Strong yak. Don't get me wrong. It's a strong yak. 
This doesn't seem that bad. Maybe I'm the fool, but this seems totally fine. The, I, I, what was I so scared of? The mantis is killing. It's scaling. It's experiencing. You're leveling. Stegosaurus is just absurd. But that means we have to kill something. And to be honest with you, I'm okay killing our yak. Or we could buy something to kill. But the Stegosaurus scaling our lion seems kind of sick right now. Maybe I'm, like, underthinking it. Nobody needs a strawberry. If you're going to do this, you should set it up in this order. And, you know, I thought about running uh, the husky here. I don't think it does anything, though. I could sell you by you, but would I rather have a 5-5 five, five that kills itself or a... 7-3 that we could then... Like, we're not spending any gold to have the 7-3. You know what I mean? Nothing here is worth killing. At some point, the bird's gonna go, and a green pepper on our mantis will probably hit. Probably hit a little bit better. We'd love the lion to level up, though. 15-17. So it's gonna be like a 15-24. It's not without merit. So you're running a very similar sort of squad here. I gotta say I respect it. It was a little close, but we made it. We're killing the right unit, right? Oh, we're killing the bird. <laughs> I meant to kill the yak. What was I thinking? It's not that bad, but this is not what I was aiming for. Let's put it that way. Okay, check this out. Buy me. I just got to think. So you're going to become a 17-19. I don't want to swap stats. I looked at it and I was like, we should swap stats. I'm no longer thinking like that. I don't think the stat swapping is the right way to run it. We get something with an advantage, maybe? Yeah, actually, kind of. Um, yes. Is No, it's not. The, okay, hold on. <laughs> we could get you to level up. With the pug, but it, it's not the way. Give you Honestly, give me a strawberry friend that gives me a 1-1 advantage. It's worth so little, and yet still... I can't believe the yak is on the squad. Like, it, it needs to go. But I keep getting tunnel vision by, like, the newest shiny thing that I see in the shop. We're so lucky that the stats on this could not have looked better for us. Am I stupid, by the way? Is our lion even getting the stats? Isn't this Stegosaurus... I'm so dumb, and yet I'm winning nonetheless. That's so sad for, like, society. The Stegosaurus obviously makes you not as good. Because you don't get the bonus. Mind you, you are basically more than doubling your stats just from the Stegosaurus existing. But it would more than double, like, anything stats. So we gotta... <laughs> gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do about that. Gain 1-1 one, one for each tier 5 pet or high. I, I think you gotta go. Even though you have the... I think you gotta go. The yak can be killed. The ostrich can allow us to freeze much of the shop. My thoughts exactly. Now, you need a green pepper. You can go. You're a 710 for now. Okay, don't go. <laughs> Tier 5 or greater. Roll me. This round is all about getting the ostrich some stats. Freeze a green pepper. Roll me again. Look, it's still getting the 3-3 three, three buff just for existing. The lion is going to go next round. Right now, I'd rather have the 1822 just based on the stats that it has. I know it's not getting multiplied, okay? But I'll take what I can get. Not a big deal. Actually, like an enormous deal. That, that went really wrong. They got a strong squad. We got to hand it to them. So okay. we, this is the comeuppance, not because of our pivot, but because we didn't notice what we were doing with the lion earlier. Eventually, you got to pay the piper. Now, you're going to go. You, why, I froze you for shop-based reasons. Okay, yeah. You need a green pepper. I'm not going to add a fox yet. I would add a, a, ste a second stegosaurus, I think.
and then roll to try to buff the ostrich. And the lion gets killed instead of sold. At least we get one more round of utility out of it. Look, this is kind of like... It's a big brain move. Whether it's a good big brain move or an idiot big brain move, you know. I've been accused of both. Strong. And yet the green pepper gives us a favorable trade. Toad, very common. And yet... Hold on, we win these. That takes us to nine. We could scrape ten wins. We could just get in under the wire, man. Roll me. We need something worth sacrificing, ideally. I know, I, I recognize the folly of what we're doing. Okay, you wouldn't be the first to point it out. <laughs> okay. Um, we, I can't afford to rearrange our order. I will purchase a fox, and I would love it if you got me an orange. An orange? An orange? A grape? Okay, so we got like one gold out of that. I'm not sure about that one. That doesn't seem like it was that good uh, for me. My green pepper. Your coconut armor. We're dead. But we're not lethal yet. Okay, this is the do anything challenge. You can put an orca up here. Come on, give me a stegosaurus. Uh, you know what? I don't know. It's convenient. <laughs> An okay, another ostrich. Roll once. Oh, baby! Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Not really, but maybe. Now, if, this, if we win this round... There's a lot of ifs about to happen here, so get ready. If we win this round, and then... The orca spits out uh, an ostrich. We're laughing all the way to the bank. Oh my god, we lost to a toad, man. Still, I had fun with this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps to the great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Eight and nine wins, I'll take it. And I'll see you next time. See ya.